Get up now! Oh no electronic devices! Make your bed! Feed the dog! In our last episode, we moved into our travel trailer and took a long hike to get a milkshake. And here we are, starting our drive from Colorado Springs to Florida. I won the bet. Yeah. What bet was that? Bet how much crap we have. 4,000 worth. 4,180 pounds of crap. You know, I kind of like Kansas. How you doing? Hey, what's up? I don't know. Bucket list, chick. Gateway Arch. Oh, this is the lake full of piranhas, or three-inch fish that act like piranhas. Last day of driving. Sailboats. 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 We finally got to see our boat in Fort Pierce. I'm Haley. Turn it off. Say something nice. I don't know how. Like I'm, happy. I'm working. I'm working on a boat. Like, happy anniversary, sweetheart. Happy anniversary, sweetheart. I love you forever. I love you forever. I, I got you some boat work. I got you some boat work for your 16th Dog wedding anniversary. Like Fixing the bump rail. Bump rail? Yeah, that's my new name for it. The old thingy, I don't know. Whatever the directions say. Speaking of directions, did we get the directions? Okay. Number one. Repair damaged area by eliminating dirt, grease. Number two. Dispense a little more polyester. Three is for color gel coat. The color guide shows a variety of colors that may be obtained by combining the basic colors. Okay, no. So That's I'm stri I'm stripping the whole thing right now. Oh, don't strip it. Okay, Dad. We got this. Ugh. On, off. You think down, maybe? So no, oh. There you go. Yeah. Oh, this one works like, look at that. Oh, look at that. Like a charm. Okay, so I don't know who the hell designed this boat, but we're going to show you the best awesome seacock handle you can possibly find on any boat ever. So here we go. Down there in that little tiny compartment, see the handle, and so you're supposed to be able to operate that when the boat floods through that through hole. <laughs> so, Dad, now that you found out 14 through holes, how do you feel about seacocks? They should all die immediately. No more seacocks, ever. So you might ask yourself what a seacock is exactly. It kind of has a funny name. So basically a boat has a bunch of through holes where you know water comes into the boat underneath the water line mostly. Um, for example like the raw water engine intake to cool the engine or the generator or other things. And then you have this valve after the through hole. So there's a hole in the boat then you have a valve and the valve is there in case the through hole Breaks or basically any if the line breaks you can close the valve really quickly and that way your boat doesn't flood and sink Which would suck, right? So this is what a Seacock typically look, looks like it's made out of bronze the newer ones are made out of some other materials um, This one might be brass, but typically you get the idea you don't want to use brass you want to use bronze so and then typically it's just a ball valve Maybe you see it there if I know what I'm doing There you go close boat doesn't sink don't close boat sinks um, if you have an issue and the awesome thing is when we got on this boat we probably no, we had three frozen seacocks that were much bigger than this and it wasn't fun all right there you go there's your little tutorial hey 
Hey guys. So we're going to teach you today how to operate seacocks. Okay, so you see you got this little handle thing, right? And basically what you want to do is try and turn it and you're safe. And then turn it other way. Are you going to explain it or are you just going to... Turn it other way, you might die. Seacocks sea are for the big holes in the boat. Not sure why they did that because that seems stupid. But they put big holes in the boat. They're like, here's something to stop it if they're not frozen. So, these are made of bronze or brass. You can choose either one. You can make it out of silver, gold. <laughs> really, it doesn't matter. It's like the gold medals at the Olympics. Yeah, do it in pl plastic if you really want. So. Some of these handles are yellow. That is bad. Don't use the yellow ones. <laughs> That's like, oh my God, you should be Most of that was wrong. Just letting you know. <laughs> That's where you discharge the sink water. That's where the toilet. They're telling us why we're wrong. No, don't tell them. <laughs> this is great. Okay, the bilge. Sometimes you have to empty off the bilge, so you need a hole in the boat. So basically okay. they put holes in the boat for reasons, but... So yeah, so basically... Well, pretty no. sure in the 1400s they did not want holes in the boat because it was These are bad. good. You want the bronze ones. The bronze <laughs> one, only the bronze ones work. You can't make it out of anything else. Not brass, not gold, not plastic, not platinum, not anything else. Why did you and just list off a bunch of metals? <laughs> and the yellow ones are now good. And there should be holes in the boat. Apparently. Pretty sure C Christopher Columbus didn't have holes in his boat, but whatever. Who knows? We weren't there. Maybe Dad, but <laughs> we weren't there. <laughs> Leah's not very happy this morning. The guys are moving the boat, the blocks on the boat, so we can paint under them. <laughs> Pro tip, if you happen to be painting your boat, do it yourself, save the money, so much easier. The $4,000 we saved bought a lot of pizza, beer, and chocolate milkshakes. DIY put your name on. Not very DIY, but it's really modest. Well, it's just DIY paint, DIY names. Everything we're doing is DIY. Yeah. Yeah, Haley, what are we doing? We're putting very expensive, what is that, scotch or whiskey? Whiskey. It's like a $150 bottle of scotch. And we're wasting it on the boat. Thank you, Mary and Q. <laughs> So apparently you're supposed to throw some alcohol or something on the boat when you change the name. You're supposed to crisp the champagne. But the problem is the boat's not in the water. So I'm going to toss some scotch on the boat out of the water. Then we're going to walk over to the to the launch thing because we're launching the boat tomorrow. We're going to put some scotch in the water and the launch thing so that our boat doesn't sink when we launch it. Sir, and then we're just going to... Holy one. Holy one. Holy one. <laughs> Do not sink our boat, please. Miss dry storage? No, I'm not gonna miss dry storage. <laughs> Launch day! Woo. So we finally launched our boat. We started our trip to Merritt Island with a beautiful sunrise.
12 hours on the ICW, we arrived with our slip at Merritt Island. For the next few months, this is our home base where we will prepare for the Bahamas. See you next time. Hey Haley. What? What do you want for breakfast? Chocolate milkshake. Okay. Chocolate milkshake it is.